Welcome to UCPS Now, a show that will highlight Union County Public Schools staff, students, and schools. This month's show will feature a STEM class at Walter Bickett Elementary and a surprise presentation for a special teacher at Forest Hills High. We will also talk to a community member who was a principal for a day. Teacher of the Year, and I have the honor of presenting to a very special someone here at Forest Hills a wonderful, wonderful accomplishment. She has named, been named the Region 6 Teacher of the Year. I want to say from one teacher to another that you embody the very best that we have to offer, not just in Union County or North Carolina, but in these United States. And for someone to dedicate their lives or their life to children doesn't get any higher calling than that except maybe the ministry and I would say this is a ministry <laughs> so on behalf of the Union County Board of Education and all of the teachers and all of the children in Union County we love you we support you and we have the regional teacher of the year <laughs> the county principal of the year hopefully the regional principal of the year Thank you. Y'all set me up this morning. <laughs> um, just thank you guys for um, the students, um, the staff. Um, my best friends are here. My husband, my children, my mom, who stood behind the same podium a few years ago um, as Teacher of the Year as well. So um, this was not what I was expecting on the Monday morning before Thanksgiving. But just thank you guys. Far Stills is my home. It'll always be my home. And so just thank you guys for um, celebrating this morning because it's really a reflection of the total team work here. It's not just me, it's all you guys. And it's really each and every one of you guys because if you're not successful, then we haven't done our job. And that's why we come to work every day. It's all about you guys, I'm the students. So we're glad that um, y'all can participate and y'all are here and thank y'all so much for being a part of this this morning. Ms. Whitley will now go on to compete for the State Teacher of the Year title. In honor of American Education Week, UCPS Now visited a STEM classroom at Walter Bickett Elementary School. Teacher Andrea Seville is a dedicated STEM teacher who will share what makes her classes uniquely science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. It's an inter interdisciplinary approach to teaching. So the subjects aren't taught in isolation, rather they're taught together with a problem-solving approach. Do you know what least means? That means not very much. The left, yes. Um, the the weather stripping. We use that one the least. So in the STEM classroom, we start with a problem. And I always tell the students that it's more like a puzzle that they're trying to figure out. And just like a puzzle, we have some pieces we think they fit, but they don't fit. So we try another piece. And we talk about how that's what engineers do. They try one thing, and if it doesn't work, they try something else. So with the um, problem that they're trying to solve, they plan out some solutions based on investigations. They make models, they test the models, and like I said, if they don't work, they try something else. Now we have to try B. Try it? Yeah. Very good. Now try this Wait. Wait. No. STEM is important because it allows students to engage in real world problem solving. And not only are they working on math and science skills and technology skills, but they're able to work on those innovation skills where they're working with each other in a group setting. 
Um, they have to collaborate with one another. They have to be able to communicate their ideas to one another and to me. They also have to um, be creative and develop their critical thinking skills. They used all rug pads. So they said next time they would add some suction cups. Any other ideas? What would you do next time so it doesn't slide on the steep slope? The suction Try more suction cups? What would you do, Dom? Um, so it don't fly? So yeah, I don't want it to slide. Oh, what could we change? Vent. What could we add instead of what you did? We can add more. So in STEM, what I talked about with the students is that engineers use science, technology, and math to help them solve problems. So a lot of times before we even begin building our models, the students will do science investigations to give them as much background information to help them plan out their model. And then also during those investigations or even when we're testing our models, the students use mathematics and technology to um, input data and analyze their data just to get them kind of used to making a mistake and trying something new. I wanted them to have a comfortable environment where they could do that. We started coding and we used websites like code.org and Scratch so the students could become familiar with computer programming. And it was a great um, gaming kind of way to learn coding where they're trying to get the angry bird to the pig and they think they're playing a game but they're actually using a lot of math, engineering, and um, science skills. I want my students to be confident. You know, they're not always going to have the highest math skills or be the strongest in math and, or know all of the science vocabulary, but I want them to know that they can read, they can look for that information and basically I want them to be thinkers. I want them to be able to have a problem, they know how to go solve it, they have those resources, and they're not scared to do that. Snapchat, Instagram, and Vine, these are just a few of the social media sites parents need to know about. Parents took advantage of the opportunity to learn about these and more sites during an online training session at Forest Hills High School. Parents and students learned about cyber safety, cyber bullying, digital citizenship, and online resources. Just a quick definition of cyber bullying, any type of harassment or bullying that occurs through emails, chat rooms, instant messenger, website, text messaging, all those are forms of, of cyber bullying. I think they just can't see how far beyond their little social group or their their Facebook feed or their Twitter feed the things go, how many people in the world are connected to the internet. So it's sometimes nice to, to remind them that there are billions of people who can see what you post if it's public or if somebody takes it and reposts it. Um, and so everything they do is in front of the audience. So just to remind them that it's the apps and things are blocked on their Chromebooks, so some of them are very smart and can figure ways around, and then we try to figure ways to block that. But they're carrying that in their pockets, they're sleeping beside it at night, so it follows them everywhere. So that's why cyberbullying, I think, is, is so dangerous these days, because it follows into their very personal spaces, where it used to be just in public, you know, where the kids are on the playground or they're at school, but now it comes into, into your homes. And so it's important to keep that line of conversation open. But it's also important for you to know some of the trends because once parents start buying into the social media trends, like now that parents are on Facebook, teens are not using it as much. They're on Instagram or Twitter. Um, and so this is just a few things. Ever wonder what it's like to be a principal? Several community members had a chance to see the job up close and personal through the Education Foundation's Principal for a Day program. Community members shadowed school leaders at East Union, Marvin Ridge, Monroe, Parkwood, Piedmont, South Providence, Sun Valley, and Weddington Middle Schools. UCPS Now will take a closer look at Weddington Middle School's Principal for a Day, Don Fisher. We recruited eight community volunteers at Rotary Clubs, at business meetings, other places around, at chamber events, and the response was great. We were able to find eight people interested in it, and um, that's 
basically where the idea came from. I'm doing this. I'm retired from retail JCPenney. Uh, I spent 12 years in healthcare, working for a hospital in Missouri as a director of uh, business development, and director, and director of physician clinics operations. I am working with Mr. Fisher, um, showing him around Weddington Middle School, kind of acclimating him to Union County Public Schools and what we do in the school system. Like the TV back in the corner, if you can see it way back there. Mm -hmm. So they follow their schedule by the clock. So um, right now, sixth grade is in six and seven. Um, this morning we met as an administrative team. He was part of that meeting. So with this report you're looking at, there's also, let's get the second page, okay. So this talks about, this goes along of, of the discipline um, mm -hmm. in the schools and in classrooms, uh, talking to kids, talking to teachers. So I think it's just a way of um, showing the community what we do in the public school system so that um, they are and continue to be advocates for public schools. I had attended some math classes and <laughs> we were kind of laughing about that. Uh, I said, that's not the way I learned al algebra. <laughs> <laughs> and it was very interactive. Uh, I was impressed with the fact that the students were carrying their laptops. Uh, we saw several instructions there. Uh, I was impressed with the uh, 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 safety goggles in the science class. I don't recall if we had those back when I was in, in class. All right, if you've not already done so, I need you guys to measure up your five milliliters of vinegar. With the um, new push for charter schools, I think it's important that we get our community members in public schools to see that there is quality education going on, um, there's uh, collaboration, um, and I also think it's very important that we need to, we need to be able to lean on uh, community members to help us um, educate our students, um, whether it's bringing them in to provide presentations or if it's helping us raise funds to provide services to our kids. We all need to be um, have a stake in the school system and I think this program will help do that. It, it was just a joy beyond joys. I had no idea what to expect and uh, it's, it's just a good ship and I'm proud to say that I participated in this. Next month, we will feature a new culinary arts program in UCPS and tell you how parents can register students for kindergarten.